Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the topic for today is about the week end rank meta analysis for week 139. So without further guys, uh, let's proceed. So first of all, I just like uh, like uh, to remind you guys that this will be the last uh, week and rank for the uh, for this uh, kind of archetypes that we're like playing for the past few weeks, and because uh, to starting tomorrow there will be a new set of expansion from the Garden Exchange, and they call it the Mortal Judgment. And based on the PTR, uh, based on my uh, PTR uh, experience, or if you watch my PTR uh, YouTube video for the Mortal Judgment, you will notice that there are like multiple variation of new. Uh, uh archetype that might dominate the new week and rank so technically this will be the last day of this one and as you and still if you notice agro light is still the most dominant and most popular archetype or gods here and uh this might all change on the next week and rank. usually i do this uh youtube video uh for players that uh i give uh like a given highlight what happening on the last weekend rank and give an insight that this might be still the archetype for the next weekend rank but now because i'm like telling you guys because of the new expansion I release tomorrow this all of this might change now so net decking might change and but it's better still to review uh what and who knows so uh, currently, light is the most uh, dominant in all gods with the highest win rate and also the most popular what Special about light is there are like literally 47.4% players or in terms of popularity means like half of the entire uh, gods and chain player use uh use light on their week and rank is in half like almost 50%. Usually the highest before uh like I'm seeing is like uh like 25 to 30% uh either it's war or nature but light literally like over like uh, more than 30 percent and that was like for me it's like insane means there's no other best deck here aside from light the rest are played because of like uh doing a favor or like flux farming or that's that's it but technically uh this literally like are like uh, the most dominant i've seen so far 47.4 percent and uh if we gonna uh, uh look down that is like the most uh like uh the poorest in terms of win rate and the most unplayed like only five percent five percent here and like but i believe on if you watch my anubian uh public telstrom uh video uh they might be the new number one i'm i'm guessing still will be light versus a uh, death will be on the uh, next week weekend rank if you especially watch my youtube video about the anubian Public test run for the mortal judgment here. Uh, uh, currently they're like the bottom, and who knows they might be the new uh, archetype next week. And followed by like the most still bottom are like the war, which is even though they are like the third most played, uh, the most popular light. Followed by nature, then war, and then deception here. And as you can see, deception is the fourth, but they have like a highest. A second to the highest win rate uh, beside light and the rest are like below 50 percent in win rate here now if we check the archetype uh as you can notice uh sleep has the highest total win rate but they're only two percent so means two percent in popularity means you might encounter one out of 25 in your weekend rank or you might not encounter them at all in my last weekend rank i played agro light I never seen a I never uh face to face with any sleep deception. So it's still a low chance of uh uh for players to uh, able to uh encounter sleep deception. Anything for me anything that is below 3% is like 1 out of 25 or 0 uh chances here. As, as you can see Agrolite is 34%. This is insane. Okay? So if we uh, literally focus on light here uh 34%, there are like three archetype Agro mid range control. The difference between uh, uh control light, if you have like seven casting cost card that has three or more, you're considered control light. If you have like two, at least two seven casting costs be below, you are considered mid range. Now, if you only have like one seven casting cost, technically you are considered aggro. That's how like uh, God's uh, geo deck 
how to verify what archetype they are. So if you're like only have one zealous march, then you're like aggro life. But if you have like dual zealous of march, you're considered mid range. And if you have like uh, uh, three seven casting costs and above, you're considered control here. And as you can see, uh, mid range is second most, like temper, like almost like ten percent, but thirty four percent for aggro life. So high chances are. In out of your 25 game, half of it will be like high chance, like high half of it will be like an aggro light. Okay. So now if we focus on deception, which is the second highest win rate, uh sleep deception, only two percent. The rest, uh control and aggro have also have like a more than 50% win rate here. And that's but they're like one percent, one percent means you may encounter them or not. I believe in my last week and in my game, I think I only I managed to fight one aggro deception uh, in my entire 25 game. The rest are like majority light followed by nature or something like that. That's my like, if I, I if I summary all my entire 25 games, uh, I face uh, probably one magic, one deception, uh, one nature. I think I never encounter any war and any, any uh, death, but the rest are like light. Light here, like light versus light. So that's what happened on the weekend rank. Uh, followed by nature, uh, everything are below 50%. Sad part for the nature's uh, lover there. Uh, for the war, which which is like the uh, uh, third most popular, everything is below 50%. Also, only control war are like uh, uh, 49%, but they're like 0.8%. Uh, I believe this is, will be like zero chance for you to fight them. And then magic... Uh, uh, less than like literally less than 10 percent 4.5 for the control magic which is i encounter one a ramp magic and then uh like for the death here a uh, board wipe deck it's one percent you may not encounter them or once and the rest are the zombies the zombies even though they are 4.3 percent they are like only 40 the lowest win rate on them all is the is the zombie one like the zombie uh zombie death here so high chance all of this might change because of the mortal judgment so if we're gonna do a net decking uh as you can notice on the top 20 we are like total uh we have a total of like 11 light players who enter the top 20 so technically uh, more than 50 percent of the top 20 are are aggro light uh followed by deception so on the deception there are like technically five sleep deception and one uh order deception one war uh using the mythic mythic card one board wipe deck and one nature which is a mid-range so that that will be the uh like the overall archetype on the top 20 and on the and as you can see the rank one is by the chosen mortal uh this will be like one out of 20 uh 25 000 chances for you to meet him in the weekend rank because He's the only player with this uh, mythic card, the Citadel of the Gods. And uh, I hope I manage. Uh, if I chance if you face him, you're like probably auto auto loss, uh, because this is like more on like legendaries. And as you can see, uh, at the start of the game, move this card on the top of your deck. Each player summon three legendary champions, equip champion relic, and unlock all mana locks. Both gods gain protect and ward. So technically. He will draw majority of all the uh, the good uh, legendary here. So this is like an insane deck, but uh, it's like one only player, the chosen mortal. So if you manage to face him, good for you. One one is in a lifetime GU experience of playing with him. Uh, rank two aggro light. Uh, the what I noticed about the aggro light, they're playing like one zero sub march now, and either they play dual player. Or one player with one uh with one region of dawn, and as you can see, this has been played 132 times. A sleep deception variation where they have Demogorgon and Witterfinger, uh Jason and they are using Talia for a little bit end game, and but literally more on sleep, especially Tot Saipons and early card removal like sleep and like literally at the early round they will use the card removal, and then later on the mid once it reaches seven castigos they will do an AOE sleep. Using Demogorgon and Witterfinger. They can use even Elixir of Panther or even Elixir of Snakes to counter Zealous of March here. So technically, 
the number one counter supposed to be for the sleep deception are light because of the region of dawn but uh not all 34 percent or 40 percent players played region of dawn they usually add one region of dawn so you still have the deception still have a chance of winning versus in an aggro light here because like i mentioned like here as you can see on the current rank two there's no region of dawn on his build okay uh that's 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 it that's like main main difference why sandily sleep deception are like supposed to be uh not favored to win but because not all of the players play region of dawn that's the main reason why because in the past uh since the introduction of the prayer uh people usually player play dual region of dawn but since the introduction of prayer of desperate they either replace it with uh, the region of has been removed or just play one. So that's what's happening now. So this is another aggro light. Uh, it's been played a thousand times. He has one region of dawn, one desperate player here. So at least you have like one card to counter a slip deception and even also the board wipe deck. Uh, Midrange, uh, he's a Filipino player. I know he's literally known for playing only nature. And he or he also like invested properly on the nature. That's why he has underbrush, and some of the uh like the nature uh nature legendaries here, like famous legend uh nature cards here, like underbrush, avatar of nature, and even the Selena champion. Okay, uh another aggro light uh dual region of dawn and dual prayer, but no zealous of march. This is literally an aggro. Uh, another sleep deception, another variation of sleep deception, probably removing Talia here, uh, but still almost the same with uh, sleep and uh, uh, spell control spells. Another aggro light here, one region of dawn, one prayer, one zeal of march. Another uh, uh, aggro with one region of dawn, two desperate, no zeal of march, but almost the same identical. Uh, another aggro light here with one regent, one pair, one zealous. The rest are like aggro creature. Uh, using bronze servant instead of iron tooth, probably a little bit of budget type. Uh, another aggro light. Uh, no region of dawn, but uh, one desperate and one zealous. Uh, no region of dawn. This is by Kujo Clutch. Uh, he not, he he does not use the mace weapon here. He used cudgel here. Uh. Still one desperate one one prayer desperate and one zealous match. A uh, dual iron tooth, a dual pyramid warden, and dual infantry. So this is like a literally. Uh, usually I see him playing uh this kind of like even in control, uh dual iron tooth and dual pyramid warden, and now he's adding dual infiltrator. Another variation of sleep. So I believe this is like the similar uh version of devote devoted who managed to get twenty five out of twenty five last week. Uh, using sleep deception i believe this is exact copy deck and that's why it's played 1800 times this is like a do a devoted variation uh uh if i check clementi did not manage to enter the top 20 last weekend run he managed to enter now but he he, he copied the um the deck of devoted here uh ag another variation agro light one region one desperate one zealous team agro Another variation, uh, no, uh, no prayer, but he has to canonize uh, one zealous march and one region of dawn. Uh, board wipe deck, the only board wipe deck will enter back, but this like a different uh a play style instead of polyhemia echo pond. It does not play the sulfuric rain. Why? Because if you play sulfuric rain because of the aggro of light, you manage to kill them all after the sleep combo. But because of the card draw ability, he might have like a full hand cards and he can st play, still play more, more light cards. And that's the thing. He, he has like combining with uh, some of the zombies like Necroscaptor and some healer cards like the Death Watch Anubian and Overseer Vitality to counter the Zealous of March here. So this is like a, 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 a new variation of board wipe deck here. Uh, another order deception uh, uh archetype as uh, one meter finger this is like a, a like a, a typical aggressive or oh, aggro uh order deception here and one con another sleep deception here with our finger demogorgon same with same sleep cards and the last we have like another aggro which is it doesn't play any region of dawn so now 
uh, overall, high chances are this will be not the same meta for the next weekend rank. So this might be our last uh, or farewell uh, for this kind of archetype. But who knows? I believe there will be a lot of players who will still play light. Why? Because there are lots of players now who invested in, uh, in light, especially the aggro light, and they are like cheaper. High chance they might play the same card, but they just up upgraded it by adding some of the, um, like the Mortal Judgment expansion card. Because the main reason why it's so popular, because as you can notice, it's not, this is not an expensive deck. They're like less than 0 0.1 ETH. Even the rank 2 or like 0 0.05 ETH. This is like literally a cheaper variation. Usually nature uh, is the most popular because you can build a decent uh, a budget deck. But now because of the new core, core refresh, uh, and new core cards, the light is become now the new cheaper version of uh, a good uh, a deck now and that's why they are become like 47%. So people are shifting, especially for those free-to-play players and such. So now in the Mortal Judgment, who knows, light might be still there. Probably I, I suspect it will be either rank 1 in terms of popularity or rank 2. Anubian will be uh, famous, especially if you watch my PTR in Anubian. They are like a good this one and even like the domain agro deception. So watch my PTR videos uh, about the mortal judgment and you will see, you might see the, the upcoming archetype that might pop, get popular. Light, I played light in the PTR. I just added some of the mortal judgment, but still they are still consistent and good against all those new archetypes. And I believe the new, uh, the meta for the next week still might be still be the uh, aggro but who knows what kind of aggro anubian aggro light aggro deception aggro but because of like the consistency of the sleep deception and if there will be less pl player now will play sleep uh, like the region of dawn high chance sleep deception might be the most dominant uh, control archetype still because if you reduce the region of dawn player uh people People will play Region of Dawn, then Sleep Descension might be like a boost up. Like, who knows? They might be more uh, veteran player will play a control version of that one. Can stop both, uh, both any types of aggro types uh, uh, archetype. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, kindly please subscribe and like. And see you next time. If you have like a uh, question, suggestion, please give me, leave me a comment. And what if, especially what do you think will be the new archetype next week? Like the dominant archetype next week. Uh, thank you so much and see you next week. Bye-bye. There's a distance between